Hello lovely people, welcome to another video. My name is Leila. I moved to Seoul in August 2020. Welcome to my channel where I talk about personal development and my life in Korea. My goal is to make the journey easier for those of you who wish to follow this path. So you can find me on Instagram for more day-to-day -day content and you can also visit my website where I write articles that will help you level up in life. This video is for people interested in living in a small studio apartment in Korea. I will show you the studio and the amenities. I will also share the process and exactly how much money went into it. Before we get there though, here's a look at the neighborhood I moved in less than a month ago. Living near the water and the park is very, very important to me. After the Goshi Won and the shared apartment, I felt like I was stable and rooted enough to finally live on my own. I now have my personal space, my peace of mind, and I get to do whatever I want. I have to admit my lifestyle has changed a bit. Now I have bills to pay, I do my groceries on an app, I ride bicycles a lot, and I feel more inspired to work on personal projects. I was inspired to move after I visited a friend who lives in the same apartment building. So let's go and let me show you. I gotta warn you, the place is very small, so this is going to be a very quick tour. I will not show things too in depth, just so I can preserve a little bit of privacy. But this is my favorite place where I spend most of my time. I eat, I study, I work, and I create here. The amount of storage available is crazy. I don't have a lot of things, so this is perfect for me. Everything can be hidden so that the place I have left is not cluttered, and I absolutely like that. I'm planning on getting nice curtains because right now, if I open the blinds, people will see me and what's happening in my apartment, and that is not a good look. I also want headboard and a small bedside table. I want a nice rug, a big plant, and some stuff on the wall. But you know, I'm taking things one step at a time. I want to create the pieces and go for a minimalist look. I don't want to rush the process. I don't want to overspend. I don't want to get things that are useless. I'm wiser now, so therefore I have to act like it. <laughs> This is the smallest kitchen I have ever used in my entire life, but it is working fine for now. I'm just sad I don't have an oven. On the left side you have the washer and on the right side the fridge and below there is the freezer. There is more storage on this side as well. Alright, let's move on to the bathroom. I absolutely love this bathroom. I brought the big towel from the US because I was worried I wouldn't find any big good ones here. Lots of storage space once again and as you know by now, the minimalists that I am do not have a lot of bathroom products, so my place remains uncluttered all the time.
I love the separation between the shower and the rest of the bathroom as well. I have a shower filter which is a must. The water quality here is extremely harsh for my hair and for my skin and I find that out the hard way. Okay, so the best part, I can easily clean my bathroom and put water everywhere thanks to those two water drains. This is the entrance with uh, more storage space and a huge mirror, which is good to look at before you go out. I signed a one-year lease for this place and so far I have no regrets at all. Okay, so let me grab some food first, then we will move on and discuss all the details. Okay, so back in February 2021, I went to visit a friend and she lived in, in an office tell in this building and i thought to myself oh my god it looks so nice and then you have a gym and then you have a study place and you have a yoga room i mean i want to live here and it's close to uh, the river it's close to parks etc so i absolutely wanted to move in especially when i found out that the money i was paying for the apartment in gangnam would allow me to actually live in a place like this it was a no-brainer for me so that was back in february and that's how i made the decision to uh, move to this particular location the process was actually pretty easy and fast just like most things in korea i guess so the first thing is i told my friend to contact her realtor the person unfortunately did not have any apartment available in the building so what I did next is my friend and I started looking for another realtor who fortunately had a place available in the building. The place was occupied by someone else, but I was able to visit the room and I, I liked it. So after that, she got in touch with the owner of the apartment and told him, hey, there's someone who is interested in your place. Are you interested in renting that to her? And she had to mention that I was a foreigner, etc. So the man agreed. Then the man came to the office, uh, the realtor office, and we met for the first time. And then we signed all the paperwork and uh, that was it. So how long did it take? From the moment I contacted the realtor and visited the apartment, it took two days. From the moment I agreed to rent the apartment and the lady contacted the owner for me to meet him, it took a week. And then from the moment we signed the paperwork and I moved into the apartment, it took another week. But that's only because the apartment was occupied and I had to wait for the person to leave and then for the place to be cleaned. So overall, I would say it was about two weeks and a half. What document did I need? Again, that was actually very straightforward and easy. I only had to show my alien registration card and uh, prove that I had a bank account here in Korea and, um, and basically tell him what I was doing here. So I told him I was a student at Sogang, blah, 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 blah. But that, that was about it, honestly. Those three main things, that's it. So how much did it cost me? So first of all, I had to give him a deposit refundable after a year once the lease is up and that was 5 million Korean won. Second thing is I had to give him the first month that is 650,000 Korean won. And the third thing I had to give 30% of the first month to the realtor who basically was the one who took care of everything. So that was the initial amount that I had to give in order for me to receive um, the keys to my room, mailbox, and all that kind of stuff. And then after that, I had to go and register with the building to say, hey, I'm a new tenant here and give them my contact information, fill up some paperwork, etc. Now for the monthly, on the monthly basis, I don't really know how much I'm going to pay in terms of my bills, water, electricity, all that kind of stuff. I've been told it'll be around 80 
um, thousand Korean won so we'll see about that but I do have internet right now and I know I paid 39,000 won in order to have it set up and then after that it'll be 14,000 Korean won every month for internet so that's pretty much what I know as of now I haven't like I said been here for over a month yet so I don't really know what my monthly expenses would be every month but so far so good I really enjoy this place I hope you enjoyed the little tour and that the information is going to be useful to you one day um, thank you very much for your time don't forget to like subscribe put stuff in the comment section if you have any questions and i will see you in the next video until then take care bye